So, I am on my way to cardiology, and it's sunny out, but I hate the sun, and it, it makes my face hurt, so I have my hood up, and I feel ridiculous. I just cannot stand the sun on my face for that long anymore, and even just this driving not for long even and I'm like can't do it put up boo um I'll tell you more about why I'm there and what's going on when I get there but chilling out in one of the quarters. I'm really early because um, the drive time to get here is hit or miss. Sometimes it takes 20 minutes, sometimes it takes an hour. Um, and I didn't want to be late. This is kind of an important appointment. Um, I spent, I'm sorry if I'm lisping a little bit, I bit my tongue like way in the back the other night. Um, and it hurts, uh, but I spent 30 days recently wearing a heart monitor. Um, I've had persistent chest pain for over a year now. It started off just every so often, like I'd have a week or two where my chest hurt really bad. And then, um, I'm warm. And then it got progressively worse and lasted longer and lasted longer and now my chest hurts every day um, some days worse than others but it hurts every day um, I've been to the ER multiple times and urgent care multiple times I've been to my doctor multiple times and um, finally got a referral to cardiology and so we did an ECG like the ultrasound of my heart and I wore this event monitor for 30 days and now I get to find out the results of it. Uh, all I know at this point is that the doctor said that it doesn't appear to be symptoms of a heart attack or an appending heart attack or of a stroke, um, which is good, but like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on and I'm scared. Um, so I thought I would talk a little bit before my appointment here about what's going on with me health-wise. Um, I'm going to shift because I'm in a skirt and I'm totally sitting really awkwardly. Um, I... Okay, so... When I was 18, I fell down a flight of stairs and I fractured my spine. Um, and I buggered it up. Stupid me at 18 decided that I didn't need to see a PCP anymore and that my chiropractor would be good enough. Think about that for a minute. I had a broken spine and I went to a chiropractor. not a bright idea. Um, luckily enough, the fracture has healed just fine. Um, there's not, like, looking at the images of my spine now, you wouldn't really know that I fractured my spine 12 years ago. Um, 
but the the damage in the long term has been extreme and that's kind of how it all started um, since then I have been diagnosed with fibromyalgia um, with um, five disc herniations in my lumbar um, if your doctor ever tells you to get a discogram, don't. It sucks. I will explain all about that in another video, I think. Um, they're agonizingly painful. Um, I have also been diagnosed with Hashimoto's. Um, so I take thyroid medicine every day. Um, I'm bipolar, so I have, I've had, like, hypomania most of my life, and, um, a few years ago, when my back went out, I sunk into a deep depressive state, um, and it was probably the worst point of my life, the lowest I've ever been. Um, I couldn't walk, I couldn't function, I would barely finish school. Um, I got really lucky my last term and had people that I knew well as my professor, so I managed to pass and graduate um, with my psych degree. And then I went back and lived with my parents because I couldn't work. Um, I gave up my position that I'd been offered in a master's program at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland, um, which was a blow, a pretty heavy blow. Um, and I basically was stuck for two years relearning how to walk and relearning how to function, um, and relearning what life is going to be like now um like despite the fact that I broke my back at 18 and this was years later like I'd had off and on um problems with pain from about the time I was 20 so this was like a few years later um because I graduated like four or five years ago with my first bachelor's um and it wasn't until then that I realized that I was going to be ill for the long term. Um, I don't hold a huge amount of hope at this point that I'm ever going to feel better. Um, and that's, that's hard. Like... I had been working in the metal lab. Um, I was working, learning to be a jeweler uh, metalsmith. And I sneezed, and then all of a sudden my life changed. I tore everything in my back out. I tore muscles, I tore ligaments, I tore all of it. And the off and on pain that I'd been experiencing before that, all of a sudden, was dialed up to a 10 and it was constant. It just didn't go away. Um, I lived on campus at the time and it was the block and a half walk from my dorm to class would take me half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, at first when I was like really learning, relearning how to walk. Um, my daily walks would be literally down the driveway to the edge of our property and back. It's not even a hundred yards. And that would be agonizing. Um, I used to do martial arts. Now I don't. Um, I used to fence. Now I don't. I used to rock climb, now I don't. I used to backpack, now I don't. Um, I used to bike, now I don't. Um, 
it's brutal and they don't really know what's wrong with me um, I mean I have had a million different suggestions made the most consistent of which is probably every other doctor I see is like have you considered that you might have lupus it could probably be lupus um, it's hard to tell though because Hashimoto's is an autoimmune disease and so I already have autoimmune markers um, and so that's part of why they're arguing still I really don't care what the diagnosis is um, if getting a diagnosis of lupus means that I can get treatment in a way that might help great um, I when people ask, I tend to say I have lupus because um, enough people know what that is that it's it's easier and a lot of my symptoms fit. So um, I have a lot of nerve pain problems. I have a lot of muscle pain problems and spasms. Um, that was what my last doctor's appointment was about, was muscle spasms. I get chest pain, um, headaches, my hair falls out. Um, I have a face rash quite often. Um, you know, it goes on and on. I get mouth sores. Um, I'm just tired of it. It's really hard to live like this. Um, I'm really fortunate that my partner um, <laughs> is also disabled and understands, but it's still tough. Um, sorry if I look a little distracted. I'm kind of watching people walk by. Um, sitting with my back to a wall so I don't inadvertently film somebody. Um, but hopefully today's appointment goes okay. I don't know what to expect. Um, all I know is that the event, at least one of the events that were flagged up by the doctor um, involved a very fast heart rate for no apparent reason. Um, but beyond that, I don't know. Um, all I can say is that heart monitor sucked. Uh, it's really inconvenient because the cord got everywhere and tangled in everything. And on top of that, um, I was allergic to the adhesive and the pads. So it gave me hives, and then I had blisters, and then finally the last straw was like three days before I was due to stop it. Um, I took one of the pads off my stomach, and it started bleeding everywhere. Like, full on, multiple cuts, kind of like it took hunks of skin off, and it had been blistered. So, like there was just blood everywhere, and it was horrible. So I cleaned it up and I just said, I'm done. Can't do it anymore. It was three more days and I couldn't put that pad back on. Like, I couldn't face it. I'd done it over the hives and over the blisters and over the pain and itchy and all of that for 27 days at that point. And I just couldn't handle it. Um, I did my darndest though. Um, but anyway, I've got to get uh, some stuff written down in my um, bullet journal, like get my school classes in there and all that. Um, since it is January now and it, the planner is supposed to start in January and I just haven't managed to do it yet. Um, anywho, I will let you guys know how the appointment goes afterwards. Hopefully it's something useful.
Not lovely. So I'm in the um, patient room now, and uh, that is my view. It's really sunny, which is kind of annoying, but I don't find the sun as bad in rooms like this because they have the UV coated windows, so it doesn't hurt as much. It's just bright. Um, but I get a look out over the city. And it's really pretty. Which is nice. Um, the nurse has just left. Did the usual blood pressure, temperature, pulse, all that jazz. Asked me why I'm here and oh, are you in any pain? And I'm like, uh, just my normal. They're like, well, on a scale of one to five. I'm like, I guess a four, but that's just for me. Like, it hurts and I noticed it, but not enough to, like, stop me from doing anything. Um, but, you know, stuff what happens, right? Hopefully, oh God, right, right in my eye. Hopefully you guys can still see me here. Uh, just really bright in my eye. Um, Hopefully this goes okay. Like I said before, I don't know what to expect. Um, we'll see though. Doctor should be here soon. Hopefully it won't be too long of a wait. I don't like sitting in that chair. Let me show you this chair. This is this is the, the, the exam table. And it's super upright and I can't stand it. <laughs> I hate sitting on exam tables to begin with, but this one in particular, I'm just like, meh. And I get it, because this is a tiny room and blah, 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 but still. Not comfortable. At all. Anywho. Um, I just get, I'm going to go back to playing games on my phone while I wait. Okay. So... It, apart from a couple instances of sinus tachycardia, where my heart rate hit 168, um, there was nothing really in my 30-day study, which is really frustrating, um, but not surprising really. So I get to do a stress test now, which I really don't want to do. But it is what it is, right? We gotta do these things to figure out what's going on. Um, but, so they're gonna call me to set up the stress test and then I get to be back here in a month. Um, I think a month exactly actually, cause it's February 3rd. Um, but still no idea why I have chest pain, no idea why I'm randomly dizzy, no idea why I passed out. So I just had a week where I randomly passed out three or four times and no clue why. 